As the sciatic nerve enters the thigh, it courses towards the popliteal fossa behind the femur. The nerve is located on the posterior surface of the adductor magnus muscle, within the posterior medial thigh compartment deep to biceps femoris muscle. The sciatic nerve in the thigh is not accompanied by an artery. The anterior approach to the sciatic nerve targets the nerve in the proximal thigh at the level of the lesser trochanter of the femur. This is an ultrasound image of the sciatic nerve. Position the patient in the supine position with the hip and knee slightly flexed and the hip externally rotated approximately 45 degrees. After preparing the patient's skin and the transducer, place a low-frequency 2 to 5 MHz curve transducer firmly on the thigh, approximately 8 cm from the inguinal crease. Observe on the screen the transverse view of the femur and the sciatic nerve, short axis. The sciatic nerve in the proximal thigh appears predominantly hyperechoic, bright, and often oval or elliptical on ultrasound. Then, view the femur in lateral side, with the femoral artery at top of the screen. Draw an imaginary line from the femoral artery to indicate where to focus on for the sciatic nerve. An imaginary triangle between the femoral artery, femur, and sciatic nerve makes it easier to identify the location for the sciatic nerve. For the in-plane approach, use an 8 to 12 cm 22 gauge insulated block needle depending on the thickness of the thigh muscles. Insert the needle on the medial side of the ultrasound transducer after local anesthesia. Advance the needle in the medial to lateral direction as well as the anterior to posterior direction with the thigh externally rotated. Then, Advance the needle along the long axis of the transducer in the same plane as the ultrasound beam.